yeah here we'll cover few points uh, about the um, basic of windows how to add the user how to change the password uh, or uh, some users password so if you see this you have to go on uh, manage from my computer or maybe window 10 is using uh, this it will show this pc so i explain here the few things like uh, some basic things here you can add the task scheduler if you have any you want to automate anything and you have to run anything uh, on schedule base you can add task here uh, this is a vps so this is a bit slow because of my network and here is user section so if you go to the user section you will see like administrator sp.com these are the uh, accounts already added so if you want to add a new user you just right click here it will give option you fill the details some test user full name you can give like test user description you may specify and you may not specify password here you can provide the password and uh, you can set this permission user must change the password at next login this this check will when user will try to log in with this username he or she must change uh, their password after login if you uncheck this the password will remain constant whatever you set here again you can uh, put this user cannot change password this means if you set this password user cannot change by itself and one is uh, like password never expires check if you set this password uh, this pa this password expiry notification will not come further so this is uh, one basic setting so i am not going to create any user suppose this is admin so i am going to properties it will <coughs> come up like this so this password is never expired user cannot change password is not set and one more important uh, while adding the user is the member of which member uh, this uh, the, the member of like you want to add the user in administrator group or you want to add the user in users group or what mm, based on the <coughs> based on your needs so suppose i will show you here for new user it's not saying anything so if you just want to add test or uh, test user and test user some password and giving here test at one one so if i create this yeah it's created so if i go to properties and see like this this is the basic setting whatever you've seen there but here, here i see by default it's created under the user and uh, i want to give him privileged access of uh, administrator uh, so i will go here and we'll go in advance and uh, we'll find the role here it will come like if i give as administrator there are a lot of a uh, lot of roles already assigned so if i give the administrator privilege uh, so now now this test user is a part of administrator so this is how we create user in um, windows now exploring a few of uh, the things let me remove this because this is vps and uh, this is someone else vps so i don't want to play more here okay we want to delete administrator account so that, that's a warning so now coming back to task scheduler if you want to add uh, some task uh, which, which should run on uh, on daily basis so you can create a basic task here uh, where few parameters will be asked like test task now moving forward 
these are important when when you want to trigger this task daily weekly monthly one time when the computer starts when on log on and when a specific event is logged these are the many these are the options when you want to trigger your own task you can uh, give the, the option here so if i give daily recurring recurring i will put as one like a daily execute one time and synchronize with uh, the time zone and whatever the, this is start date if i am start going to start uh, this from today here is like start a program send email display message suppose i want to display a message so it will ask uh, for the message and text body and just i will next step is finish and it will run on that uh, scheduled time now coming to event viewer sometime when you run the uh, windows application and you don't uh, and uh, your windows application uh, uh, throws unwanted or unwanted error and you are not able to understand that then you can visit this event viewer to get the actual um, uh, context there's three four sections custom views uh, windows logs these are all related to windows this is application service log and this is subscription log so you have to go to this section application log and uh, you can see the logs here and the windows log also you can see the application uh, whatever application is encountering the error it will show here uh, some some error or most of the time it will show uh, informational uh, informational thing this is one if you want to share a folder like a, i want to share a drive or i want to share a specific folder this is one share option given in window gui user already done so uh, if you want to see the performance like a given performance monitoring tool that is uh, too good to see the performance of different thing like a processor network uh, uh, ram everything you can see from here this is device manager what are the devices what are the hardware uh, your device is having this all will be listed with the driver if this uh, hardware listing is showing somewhere yellow marking and all that means that the driver of that device is not properly installed you need to pay attention there uh, next is storage management this is storage management so here you can manage the space and uh, you can uh, create the drives if you have unlocated a space and you can uh, split the single drive uh, single drive to multiple one like uh, making um, by shrinking the volume or uh, shrinking the volume it will give you a space and uh, you can um, you can then create a new partition from there so this is a few basic of computer management here uh, so i will close the remote session this so i have exit from that vps uh, this vps uh, was with me from long back around uh, from last uh, four years i was using this vps so i was just demonstrating uh, the computer management how to add the user how to see the event how to add a task scheduler uh, how to um, manipulate the disk uh, by shrinking or by adding uh, more drives uh, based on the un unallocated space if you have or you can cut down the your primary drive uh, to get few unlocated space and then you can add the drive thanks for watching thank you please subscribe my channel and share with friend thank you